Hey everybody, I'm back. It's the number of the day today. So the number of the day today is 54. Let's take a look. When we look at the number 54, let's go ahead and make our place value mat. Here we have our tens, here we have our ones. What number matters when we're looking for odd or even? Only the number in the ones place. So tell me a little bit about four. Is four odd or even? Well, let's see, if you get two and I get two, that would be a even number. Super. All right, so can we come up with a math equation for the number 54? Well, let's see if we can do 10 more than 54. So is 54 plus 10 more, I'm going to add one group of 10 here, 5 plus 1 is 6, so 64. We're going to start with 64 and we're going to do a little subtraction today. So we just added a group of 10. So what if I said 64 minus the 10 I added, what am I going to get? I'm going to get 54. So we created a subtraction sentence or a subtraction equation. There's that vocabulary word equation again. Why is that? Because this side is equal or the same as that side. Okay? All right, so let's scroll down. All right, so we're going to remember 54. What is one more than 54? Go ahead and write it down. So if your grandma was 54 years old and she had another birthday, she would be what? Write it down. All righty, if you got 55, you are correct. So now let's pretend Grandpa's 54. What was his birthday before he turned 54? Write it down. That would be one less. And we could always do 54 minus 1. Well, what's 4 minus 1? You got it. 53. Super. All right, so 10 more. We're going to change the number in the tens place. All right, so didn't we do that when we said 64 was 10 more? And if we took 10 away, we'd end up with 54, right? So 10 more than 54 is 64. And 10 less than 54, well, what's 5 minus 1? 4, so we're going to do 44. All right, now if we add a group of 100 in front of one, uh, 54, we would end up with... 154. And we're going to squiggle this out because we would end up with a negative number. And we're not going to worry about negative numbers right now. All right, word form. How do we write 54 in word form with words? F I F T Y. Always have to use a hyphen. And the number 4. 54. Awesome. All right, it's asking for how many hundreds, tens, and ones. Well, if we come back up here, we made our place value mat. How many tens were there? Five. How many ones were there? Four. Are there any hundreds? None. So we can actually make just an imaginary zero for a number on the left. All right, expanded form. Expanded form is asking us to pull this number apart. How, what is the value of this number? It is 5 tenths. How much is 5 tenths? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 5 tenths is worth 50. Plus, how many are 4 ones worth? 1, 2, 3, 4. 50 plus 4 equals 54. Super. All right, now we're going to do a counting on and a counting back. So we're going to put a 54 over here and we're going to put a 54 over here. Because counting on, remember, jumps forward. Numbers that come after. So what comes after 54 if I was counting? Go ahead and do all three and I'm going to check them. So remember, you're counting 52, 53, 54, counting, counting, counting on. These are going to be the answers that I check in grade. Okay, now you need to count back. Here's 54. So what if I was 58 years old? 
57, 56, 55, 54, and now we're going to jump backwards. Okay, and I want you to write those three numbers as well. On your own, these three and these three are going to be the numbers that I am checking. All right, how do we draw the number using tens and ones? How many tens are in the number 54? Well, there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And how many ones? How many ones would there be? Well, it says there are four. So this is the way that I would model 54. All right, and the last step for number of the day, I'm also gonna be checking, can you please put a dot on the number 54? Be careful, because this is 50 and this is 60. Each one of these, what they call tick marks, is worth one. So you can be very careful, all right, and make sure that you put the dot on the right one, 54, all right? Now, listen up. Make sure your name is at the top of your paper and put it in the homework basket. I'm going to say it one more time. Put it in the homework basket. If you don't turn it in, I'm not going to be able to check these three, these three, and your number line. That means you'd get a zero. So make sure you put your name on it and put it in the homework basket. All right, guys, have a good day. Give yourself a pat on the back for some good hard work with the number of the day.